going on guys? Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's video, I'm just going to provide you with an update about like my channel and a little bit of a lifestyle update, a curly hair update, and talk about some videos that I have kind of on the horizon. Um, so if you're new-ish, and uh, or if you just clicked on this video randomly, which you probably won't because I will make sure that I title it as like an update and you're not just gonna click on some rando's YouTube channel for an update. Um, I will purposely title it in such a way um, because I know that there's a lot of people who really are only interested in uh, my curly hair related content and um, you know I just I'm just keeping it real I can't make only curly hair videos I just can't I make YouTube videos because it's like a hobby that I enjoy and you know there's more to me than just waves and curls and I just like making videos about random stuff so I will try as hard as I can to um, title the videos that aren't about curly hair in such a way so that I don't like trick you into clicking on them I am I'm not a clickbait um, type of youtuber I wish I was because I feel like you make a whole lot of money that way but I'm just I just can't do it I just can't go it anyway so I wanted to start off the video by saying that um, I'm back obviously and I took like about 18 month break from making YouTube videos and it's like really simple why I took a break. I, I took the break because I had a, a part-time job working as a nurse and I was making YouTube videos part-time um, and I was kind of interested in taking on some kind of like a leadership role in healthcare and so I got this really cool job that I really love that's a full-time job uh, and I work four 10 hour shifts and then I also work once a week in a surgeon's office. So I've been working like overtime, like full time and then overtime. And then the other thing is like the job that I got, the quality job, there's a lot of like implementing projects and presenting and a lot of reading, like a lot of reading literature and articles and research papers and uh, looking for best practices. And so like my job really consumes a lot of my mental energy and I went back to school too so I'm like taking graduate level courses and so like YouTube which I started to consider more of a hobby than uh, like a little side business uh, had to take a back burner while I figured things out and now that I feel very settled in my routine I, I really do miss making videos I know what you're thinking what happened to her shirt I uh, was just editing the video that you were just watching and then I realized that I was missing like a big chunk of the conversation that I wanted to have with you guys. So either I forgot to hit record or my battery died and I didn't notice in time. And my hair's a little bit wet. It's a little bit sad because my hair I think looked pretty good um, in the first part of the video. But anyway, so I really want to talk about uh, kind of the direction that I see my channel going in right now. Right before I like stopped making YouTube videos, it seemed like I was kind of going into like a fitness, like health and fitness and like weight loss kind of direction with my channel. I was looking for something else to post about and actually like years ago, I kind of tried to branch into like the fitness related content a little bit. The reason that I would like naturally or organically kind of go that way is I've been a fitness instructor for like 22 years so like I started teaching fitness classes when I was 18 like I taught step aerobics I taught aquafit I taught um like spin and now ride and group power and everything I was a personal trainer for three and a half years certified personal trainer and like I'm just a fitness enthusiast and I made videos because I had just kind of ended that stage of my life where I was like having babies and I went through like a year and a half or two years after I had my second child where I felt like I was in a rut and I just like wasn't exercising and I started making videos about like how I got my energy back and part of that was going through the process of me like getting back in shape, losing some weight. How I did that was I completely gave up alcohol and I also started counting my calories. 
And then after I made the videos, I just like didn't really feel that good about them. And I'll tell you why. And I didn't get one negative comment or anybody, you know, telling me to stay in my lane or anything like that. This is like all my own thoughts. So my own thoughts after making some of those videos, especially the one where it's like I showed myself right after I had my baby and then I showed myself like with my shirt up and I had like a little bit of abs and then I was talking about counting calories and stuff. Anyway, to me personally, in my personal opinion, I feel like making those types of videos can be problematic for some people. I feel like Counting your calories is a, is a great way to lose weight, but not something that you should just like do on a whim or do like totally unhinged. If you were with a nutritionist or you had a trainer or somebody that you trusted that could really kind of guide you through that journey, then you would probably be fine. However, if you're not really careful when you're counting calories or if you have like an obsessive kind of mindset, either way, if you don't eat enough calories, even for one day, or if you, let's say you have like a huge calorie surplus, like you're just somebody that eats like 4,000 calories a day or, or something like that, and then you drop them down by like 1,500, 2,000 calories, regardless, like whatever it is, whether you just drop them down too low for whatever reason, or you're exercising so much that you're burning excessive amount of calories, or um, there's just too much of a gap between where you were and where you are. You are going to create a situation where you feel extremely hungry. And this can very quickly uh, lead to binge eating, feelings of failure. You weren't able to maintain that uh, calorie deficit. What I'm trying to say is that there are people who would watch this, young people, older people, whoever, new moms, who might watch my video and be like really susceptible to just like trying to cut their calories and then feeling really crappy about themselves and or binge eating and or whatever. So like, I guess I didn't really think it through when I made the video. And afterwards, I just felt kind of yucky about it. Not that I was giving bad advice, but I just felt like I was giving like unsolicited advice without all of the other information and support that needs to go with giving people advice like that. Fitness, I might make a few exercise related or what I ate videos, but like that's not going to be like where my channel goes. But I decided that I, I know, I now know what direction that I'm gonna go in. So again, this channel is a curly hair YouTube channel. I, most of my content is and always will be about curly hair. But I was like, what can I talk about that I'm not, I have no authority in or like no, you know, prior knowledge really. I'm just a regular average person, something that I struggle with on a daily basis and something that like I can help myself by making these videos and I can also help other people out there. So like hair, for example. So like I absolutely hated my hair, despised my hair, had no idea what products to use or what to do and making videos, I was making videos as I was learning to take care of my hair and it was like really motivating for me to make the videos and it was very genuine because I was actually going through like those types of processes and then it was really like motivating for people who, and again, viewers like you guys, Everybody has different personalities, different styles. I'm not like somebody who's like all in, like all or nothing. I'm very practical. I like an 80-20 approach. And for some people that is what they need and what they like and the type of like person that they want to relate to. And then some people need more structure. So some people watch, you know, curly hair YouTubers and they want to know more about the science and the ingredients and their hair porosity and like very specific details about the types of products and specific types of products and they just want like more professional advice where I tend to follow YouTubers that feel like I'm like getting advice from a friend, right? So getting advice from a friend about like styling your hair is great. Getting advice from a friend about your diet and how many calories to eat in a day could be problematic. One thing that I have really, really struggled with my entire life, and I promise I'm not gonna get emotional in this video, 
um, is that I am highly organized in some aspects of my life and then an absolute complete disaster um, in other areas of my life. And um, when I was like in my 20s, I've lived alone since I was 18 years old. Like I lived in an apartment by myself. That's like a really long story. Not because I went to university, unfortunately. I just, anyway, we don't have time for that today. Um, and I would say there were times when I lived in those apartments by myself that I was almost living like a hoarder. Um, like pretty gross, like pretty gross living situation. Now, I definitely don't live like that now. Um, you guys have seen videos of the inside of my house and I don't really stage them a whole lot. Like, I mean, I made my bed and stuff to make this video and not every room in my house looks as neat and tidy uh, as this room does right now, but I am somebody that has like three junk drawers, like just full of crap. And I have a finished basement that right now is completely unusable because it's just full of like boxes and laundry and like I have two kids they wear pretty much the same size clothes we don't even go through that much clothing in a week and I have like four piles of laundry downstairs that I washed and put in the dryer and I just can't bring myself to put them away and I find my house gets messy like really really easy and having a clean house is not the most important thing in the entire world but it's important to me when my house is like very clean and it doesn't even have to be that clean just when my house is like less cluttered and better organized I just feel so much more peaceful and I do get really really overwhelmed and I just feel like I feel so much happier and like more at peace and I just have so much more room in my life and in my day for like my kids and doing things that I enjoy um, when I am more organized. And so I would like to, instead of like decluttering my whole house once and deep cleaning my house and then not learning strategies to keep it um, organized, I would like to go through the process of very like slowly finding the best methods for me to become more organized in my life. And I'm gonna share those with you guys. If you're not interested in any of that, don't worry, I've said this a million times, I will always label my videos so that you know exactly what you're clicking on. So you don't have to feel bombarded with like cleaning related videos. If you find it annoying to have videos that aren't curly hair related or have me posting more videos, please don't unsubscribe to my channel because it makes me sad. <laughs> Just turn off the notifications so that you don't get like notified uh, every time I post a, a video. I would really appreciate that. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it, I really am. I really need a lot of help. I feel like this is gonna give me an opportunity to share a lot more about like my personal life and my background. And that is very therapeutic for me and might be for some of you guys. And you're gonna get to see like an in-depth view of my home, which is not, don't get too excited. Like I live in like a very basic rectangle, small little house. I love my house, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not like a YouTuber home. And again, I, I feel like some of you might be able to relate to that. Anyway, looking forward to it. Please subscribe to my channel. If you're into that, give it a thumbs up. If you're not into it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any ideas for videos that you're interested in, please let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you very soon in my next video, which is another hair video. Bye.